Hey, hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be covering the uh, transparency channel in Cinema 4D. So in my last two videos, if you want to check them out, I covered uh, the color channel, diffusion channel, and uh, luminous channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering the transparency channel and uh, all different attributes uh, that it has. So let me just go over the scene that I have uh, first. So what I have set up is uh, physical sky. It's uh, hidden with this comp uh, compositing tag. So that's why you can't see it. So you see if I delete it, you can see that I have a physical sky set up. Let me just undo that. Then I have uh, two different lights set up, and uh, they're both casting uh, shadows. And then uh, I have my basic floor set up. It's kind of like a, just a white backdrop. And uh, I have three different materials, one that looks like beer, one that looks like glass, and also uh, uh, other one that looks like some kind of... Uh, liquid maybe uh, almost looks like wine or uh, coca-cola and uh, yeah that's about it guys so let me just uh, open one of the materials and I can go over uh, the different attributes of uh, transparency channel so the big thing to remember about the transparency channel is uh, the reflectance or the environment it has around it so just make sure when you're setting up uh, any objects in the scene you know in my case it's spheres but maybe you have something modeled you know some kind of character and you want to put glass material on it just make sure you have some kind of environment around your objects so in my case I have the physical sky but in your case it might be an HDRI image maybe uh, some other objects like I have this uh, rectangle set up and I just put this photo on top of it or this uh, image on top of it so um, when I render my uh, spheres and I show you in a second I will zoom in like this and uh, render it out and uh, uh, this object that I have uh, behind the camera is going to be reflecting in my spheres. All right, let me just open one of the materials and uh, I will go over the different attributes that it has. So uh, starting with the color, guys, you can obviously set up any color you want, like uh, you've seen in the other channels. So you can choose, you know, green, blue, anything you want. Click OK, and this would be this will be your base color. The brightness controls the uh, diffuse look of your glass materials. So uh, if you bring the brightness down, as you can see. It, it still remains reflective, but uh, the transparency of the object, in this case the sphere, gets uh, lowered. So if, And also you lose your base color as well. So I would like to keep it around 96%. It's a really good balance between your base color and uh, overall transparency of the object. Okay, the next big thing is the refraction preset and the re refraction index. So you have a few here, but what this number does is... Uh, if you go for realism, each uh, uh, transparent material has its own refraction index. So if you go for like water, you know, uh, caramel, anything else, you would just type it in online and find the proper um, index, uh, refraction index. So uh, when you render your images, it looks realistic. So in this case, we do have some presets. So we have milk, you know, plexiglass, ruby, and so on. So you can use these presets to get an idea of what you're trying to go for. You know, if you're going for glass, it would be around 1.6. And if you're going for water, it would be around 1.3 and so on. So this is really important if you're going for realism. The next two options uh, or the check marks are the, um, the when the light is passing through the object, how, uh, you know, reflecting is going to be. So this is the total, uh, total internal reflections, and uh, these, these are the exit reflections. So just whatever you have around your object, your environment, you can control how it's reflected in these two uh, check marks. Next thing is the uh, Fresnel reflectivity. And pretty much what it does, it, it controls uh, the ref uh, reflections around your uh, object. And uh, it, it depends on the viewing angle of the camera also. So if I set it to like something like zero, as you can see, I lose all the reflectivity. If I set it to you know something about 50%, I get it. I get it back, and uh, as you can see, my edges and my the middle of my uh, object gets it starts getting reflective. For this number, I like to keep it at about 96%. But obviously, you can play around and uh, see which number works for you, depending on the material you're going after. So for the for the texture is is another um, good way to play around with different uh, effects that they have here. But usually, I would use a Fresnel uh, texture in here, and uh, you can control the Fresnel. Uh, by using the physical uh, attributes, you know, if you go for something specific like uh, beer, copper, and so on, 
and it's, it's going to be physically accurate but if you want to get more creative you can uh, set up your own gradient and pretty much uh, the way it works is uh, the black will be um, illuminating uh, the reflection from the from the object and white is going to be adding more reflection to the object so as you can see my edges right now are reflecting and as soon as if I change this to black and bring it all the way to the left my edges are no longer reflective as it was uh, before as you can see the big di it's a big difference right here right now my edges are reflecting but if I bring the black closer to the white I lose the reflectivity around my edges so that's where uh, that's what Fresnel does in the in the most part. The next thing is the mix mode. Uh, you can play around with different mix modes. You know, like in Photoshop, you have your multiply and so on. I like to keep it on normal or uh, additive. Those are my two favorites. Uh, the mix strength is uh, pretty much the mix between your absorption color and your uh, base color. So you can play around with those and see. Uh, if you go on for a specific color, you can play around and see how uh, how that looks. And also, it affects your uh, Fresnel reflectivity as well. And uh, you have your absorption color here. This pretty much when the light is passing through your objects, what kind of color you want to absorb. So you can play around with that. You know, you can do something like blue. And you can see the changes here. And uh, the next attribute is the absorption distance. And it's pretty much uh, how far do, do you want the light to penetrate your object. So in my case, I have my spheres. If I check the radius, is about 55 centimeters. So uh, I set up that I have 150 centimeters penetration and distance of the light when it's passing through my object. If you go for something like 600, you can play around with this number. And it's going to change accordingly. So let me just put it back to about 150. And uh, the last thing is the blurriness, and it's pretty much, uh, you know, if you go for like uh, not really a glass material, you can uh, bump up the blurriness to like anything you want, so maybe like 40%. And as you can see, uh, let this update. No, why is it not updating? Well, you can, as you can see in this preview, uh, pretty much the reflections on your object is blurry. That's pretty much what it does. And uh, I have uh, two other materials set up, and I pretty much played around with the uh, refraction index, you know, different brightness, different uh, Fresnel, inverter Fresnel, different absorption colors, and so on. And these are the results that I get. So I have my glass material, my beer material, and some kind of red wine material with the uh, Fresnel inverted. So let me just hit render and uh, let's see what it looks like. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, these these are the three different materials that I have applied to my spheres. And uh, this is the glass. This is the beer, and this is the red material. This has uh, some blurriness to apply to it. This one has a uh, Fresnel that's applied to the edges, so the edges are reflecting, but the middle is not. And this is like your typical glass uh, orb material that's reflecting all the way around it. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have uh, for this channel. And my upcoming videos, I'm going to be covering uh, the reflectance channel. And uh, I'll just I'll just go down the list. I'll make videos accordingly. Anyway, if this helps you in any way, just leave it a like and uh, subscribe for more videos. Uh, I'll probably make another one in the, the next few days. Anyway, guys, have a good day and. Uh, See you later.